Did you know that when you delete a file here in iOS, it doesn't actually delete it. Instead, it puts it to a recently deleted folder. This is both good and bad, and I'm gonna explain why in this video. Let's go. I'm here in the Files app on my iPad, and the same applies for your iPhone. And if you just wanna know where the files go when I delete them, it's here, the recently deleted folder. So if you've deleted a file from anywhere within your iPhone or iPad, it will go here to recently deleted to recover it. All we need to do is tap and hold on that file and hit recover. And that's gonna put that file back to its original location. But let's take a step back and show you how we can delete a file and recover a file, and also some hints and tips about managing your files here in iOS. First of all, the Files app should already be installed on your iPhone or iPad, but if it's not, go to the App Store and search for Files. And the app you're looking for is this one. Tap on it and then tap to download. Once you have the Files app, hit Open and you'll see all of the files here across your iCloud drive and your iPad or iPhone location. But what's the difference? The On My iPad or On My iPhone location is exactly what it sounds like. It's files that are stored directly on your device. Now, these are not backed up anywhere. So if you lose your device or if something happens to your device and it's damaged, they are lost forever. So this is not the place to store your important files because they won't get automatically backed up. Where you do want to store your important files is the iCloud Drive folder. So this is your folder that's synced to the cloud to iCloud Drive. Now, you will have limited space unless you have subscribed to one of the iCloud plans where you can actually get more space and there's information about those linked in the description. For example, I pay for two terabytes of storage on iCloud Drive, but it's not the cheapest thing. However, it does mean that all of my GarageBand projects, all my Logic Pro projects, everything that I create is backed up. And that means that I can access them from all of my devices, my Mac, my iPhone, and my iPad. And they're also backed up to the cloud. So wherever I am on any device, I can log in and download my files. Let's get back to the topic of this video and talk about deleting and recovering covering files. I'm going to go into my GarageBand for iOS project. And you can see here, probably like you, there's a lot of these My Song project files. I don't really need these. These are just where I'm trying something out. So let's delete one. Let's delete this My Song 6. To do that, we tap and hold. And then down the bottom here, we tap on delete. You can also delete multiple files by tapping on the select button, selecting from the files down below. And then the bottom here, you can tap on the delete button. Now, if you've deleted a project file that you didn't mean to, do not stress because by default, you'll have these in your recently deleted folder and these stay for 30 days before they're permanently deleted. So let's jump in to the recently deleted folder. And here you go, you can see that I have not cleaned out my recently deleted in some time because there's some files in here that I deleted quite a while ago. You can sort these and tap on this button here to sort them and list them and change them, sort them by name, by size, Size. So if you want to get rid of some and free up some space, do it by size. And you can see here, I've got some pretty large audio and video files that are taking up space. So going into your recently deleted can actually help because you can permanently delete these files and free up some space on your device. To delete an individual file, we can simply tap and hold on that file and hit delete now. Now this is going to ask you, do you want this to be deleted? This is going to permanently delete this file. We're going to hit delete. I don't need that happy hour video file anymore. To delete multiple files, we hit the select button and we can tap to select multiple files like this. And then if we're happy that we want to delete them, down the bottom here, we can hit the delete button. Once again, because deletion is permanent at this point, it will ask us and it will double check. So this is good. It's really hard to accidentally delete something because as you've seen, you have to delete it. You have to then delete it again from your deleted items. And then you have to tell it, yes, I'm definitely sure. But what about if you've accidentally deleted something? Well, if you're with in that 30 day window, never fear. If you can't find it, you can actually go to your recently deleted items. Or what you can do is search for it and you'll find out if it's there. So if we jump into recently deleted, let's say this what you deserve from GarageBand Weekly. I didn't actually wanna delete this. I wanna do another tutorial video on it. Well, no problem. All I need to do is tap and hold and hit the recover button. Now this is going to remove it from the recently deleted items and put it back in the original location. 
What if I can't remember where that is? Well, no problem. I can just search for it. There you go. I've typed what you desert in there and there it is. And if I want to know where that is, I can tap and hold. And over here, I can actually hit get info. And this will tell me what folder this is in. So it's iCloud Drive, GarageBand for iOS and my completed folder. So now I can actually jump over to iCloud Drive. I can jump into my GarageBand for iOS and my completed folder. And uh, we should be able to find this right in here. Let's tap on my filter. Let's search for this via the name so that we can actually find it and scroll on down. And there's our project file ready to use. We can just tap it, open it, and there it is. It's restored to its former glory. A few more tips related to recently deleted. We can change from the icon view by tapping at the top here and going into list view. This makes it easier to see. And as I said before, you can also search via date or name or size if you want to see the different parameters of your different files. Why are some of these grayed out? Well, that's because I'm actually not in files now. I'm in GarageBand. This is a trick that still trips me up to this very day because they look exactly the same. So if you're finding that you can't do some of the files actions that you want to, just make sure that you flick back over to files and you'll notice there that everything now can be accessed. And finally, if you're absolutely sure that you want to permanently delete everything in your recently deleted folder and free up a bunch of space, you can hit the select button and at the bottom here, tap on delete all. It will give you this big warning telling you you're about to delete however many items you have, hit delete and they're gone forever. Before we finish up, there's one final location where some deleted items may go and that is in your Photos app. To manage your files here, tap in the top left here on your iPad or scroll to the bottom if you're on an iPhone. And here under Utilities, find this one, Recently Deleted. And here once again, you'll find everything that you think you'd already deleted, but is still here. Now, if you want to make sure that these photos are gone forever for whatever reason, then all you need to do is tap here in the top right, hit on select and select which items you want to permanently delete. Now in the bottom right corner, you've got these three dots, tap on those and you can either recover them to send them back into your album or you can delete them permanently forever. And once again, it will ask, do you want to delete these from this iPad? Click on that one and they're gone forever. And just like our files app, if you want a quick way to clean up and free up a whole bunch of space, just hit select and then tap in the three dots in the bottom and tap on this one, delete all. You'll get a big scary warning and if you're happy to get rid of everything in your deleted items folder, hit on that one and you've instantly freed up a whole bunch of space. I hope this helps you understand how to recover those deleted files that you might have deleted by accident and also the added bonus of being able to free up space by getting rid of those files you thought you'd already deleted. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording, releasing on your iPhone or iPad, check out the other videos in the description and I'll see you next time.